What up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, a.k.a. Shorty C94. Back at you again with another episode of Shorty Sneaker Conversations. This is episode 94. Edging closer and closer to 100. So, let's try to get our guest. This is her first live, so... <sighs> let's see here. What's up, Keisha? What's up, Axel Blair? Carl? Hopefully. Um... Well, hello! Hi! And I was a little worried with this first live that you know you. I know. Yeah. I'm so nervous. I was like waiting for any kind of alert, but. Nah, no need to be nervous. How how are you today though? Good. How are you? Nah, I'm all right. Hot. <laughs> yeah, it, it rained a little bit here finally, so it you know cooled it off a little bit. It's been like 96 all day, so. Oh, I know. It's been really hot here, so. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna sound like a weirdo. You know, so I'm from Cleveland. If it could be 60 degrees all the time, I would be good because. <laughs> well, it's cold in here, so you think it's like not that hot, but it, it's just extreme hot or extreme cold. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, it's with well, 60, it's cool enough to still be able to wear jackets, but still be able to wear shirt and shorts if you want to. Too, oh, so. that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody knows who you are, but you mind introducing yourself to everybody who doesn't? Yeah. Um, I'm Gina. Um, guess I'm damn Gina on Instagram, but um, I don't know what kind of need, but I'm from Massachusetts, Western Massachusetts, so fast talking, fast moving, and uh, I don't know. I love shoes. <laughs> so I've had people from your area before. I've had Steph. I've had E on both on this show before. So is the Boston accent there? Is it like garden or is it still just garden? I, it depends. It, I mean, once we get talking, you'll see. You know what I mean. I do work out in Boston, so it's kind of mm -hmm. rubbing off. But you'll see. It's a All surprise. Right. Okay. <laughs> now I have to ask, what, what did you? What sneaker did you wear today? What sneaker? I wore um, the Cherry SBs Dunk Lows. I just got them, so I've been wearing them for like three days straight, which is rare. I usually, only have them for like a day. I know. Third day, I know. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I broke out these, the social status sixes. So Ooh, I saw them. Did they have the, is that real fur or fake fur? Well, since they were 250, it's probably just fake fur. Nice. Still nice. I, I got to win them for $52 on eBay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've been exploring that. I've been exploring those options on eBay. I never gave it a shot, but. I do when I go. I look at uh, you shoes all the time, like worn once and <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Tried on. I do that all the time. You slip them on and off and you know. Yeah. Nah, I feel it. Um, what size do you wear? I am a six and a half women's or a five grade school. So yeah, I you, you need to get on eBay as soon as possible. Really? eBay, Macari, Poshmark. Depop I'm on all that. I sell on those platforms, but I don't, I mean, actually, I just bought some Air Maxes today on Poshmark, $30, mm -hmm. worn once, they're the, um, I don't know the actual name, but they're the Navy, they're like clean, they're with the pink inside, oh. score, <laughs> no box, I don't care, but. Yeah, yeah, nah, I feel it. Mm -hmm. Well, before we get into the actual quarters, I do have to ask you, um, what's the most positive thing you've been able to take from the world since the pandemic started? Um, learn how to slow down <laughs> you know what I mean um, enjoying your own personal space because when that first hit I was like I didn't really know what to do with myself but now I wish like I could go back and you know so learn to slow down enjoy like the small moments because I think everything was really fast for everybody at that time you know so I've definitely, I, I'm, I'm, I move a different pace now since all of that. I'm a little more grateful for things, you know what I mean? So. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, as we jump into quarter one, you know, that is uh, sneaker origins or sneaker beginnings. Mm -hmm. But what was that first sneaker moment that was just like, you what? know. <laughs> I'm so glad that you asked. Um, I went to Catholic school from 1990 to 1999. Wow. So the only thing that could 
make me look cool were shoes. <laughs> so, um, obviously, you know, I went school shopping and whatnot. And um, I wanted the popular ones because I just wanted to, you know what I mean? I just wanted to be different. All the kids were wearing like the same ones. Um, but my first pair were definitely Fila's. My that was kind of forced by my dad. <laughs> um, he wore them, so I wore them, and you know we're Italian, so Fila. But um, <laughs> I definitely wore the Grant Hills. I looked really awkward in them, um, being like under four feet tall, you know. <laughs> and I didn't play basketball, so mm. that was like the first like memorable pair. Okay, so. I know I'm not supposed to do this because, you know, you're a lady. Sure. But how old are you? I'm 36. 36. So, you know, you're one of them people that still, you know, have a young face. So I'm sure you probably yeah. still get started. I get it all the time. Yeah. Damn. So that's that's all the way through what, like eighth grade? Were you mm -hmm. at okay. In the garden. 36 grade. with the bath, I'm like, you know. Man, that's the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. I wore through like at least four pairs of Adidas Sambas, like through the rubber. Um, I played a lot of soccer, so that was like who I had like yearly. Um, yeah, good times. Good. Really happy I can get a lot of them now because I like, obviously couldn't. You had to pick one pair a year, one pair for the school year. <laughs> and appreciate you answering that because I was, you know, uh, kind of revisiting your page when I was picking out pictures for the flyer. And I'm like, dang, she could be 21 or she could be 30. Or I just was like, <laughs> what? how old? But that's, that's cool, 30, yeah. 36. So yeah. you, you're thinking quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. So what was that next sneaker where we was like, all right, I'm in this. You know, let's, let's go. Well, I was really into, like, the underground hardcore punk scene so i started to really really get into vans and all of like the different patterns and you know what i mean because i could wear them with all of my black t-shirts you know so sure. <laughs> they go sure. to but um the vans is kind of what like kind of was like a segue into that i also wore a lot of sacconis um that was like a reliable everyday shoe um i had the jazz specifically um and had this like really nice suede pair um, I miss those a lot. <laughs> I tried to find them almost maybe quarterly. I try to like go poke around online for them. If you guys ever see them, they're purple suede. Sacconi jazz. <laughs> Personal advertisement. Now, I remember those being a thing, at least in Cleveland, it was a big right? thing. Like, yeah. Until about everybody was in Sacconi. So, yeah, I remember that. My, but, yeah. 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 Did you guys? behind you what are those those new new low top ones behind you there that just came out yeah, yeah. I, mean, I had to make sure i had props you know um the pennies because you know they're relevant to you know the 90s and whatnot and i never got to really have a pair so you know um they actually don't fit that awesome on me they feel really clunky but they're really comfortable so maybe i'm not styling them nice but um Maybe it's more of a fall shoe. They look weird with shorts. Yeah. Well, well yeah. For um, me, <laughs> I, mean, nah. for me, I, I mean, I'm I'm five foot one, just just five foot one. So shorts, I have to have like usually a lower shoe, you know. Sure. Sure. Nah. It looks better. Yeah, you know, '90s was an era of clunkiness, so you know. I know, I know, I know. I usually like a clunky shoe, but I don't know. They're they're just a little bit. They're just a little clunky for me. But maybe I gotta wear them a little bit. Maybe I gotta kind of break them in. And yeah. Okay. Now, you know, I guess because we're we're still kind of in the origin phase, so yeah. you know, we're we're nineties. Now, with your, you know, love of sneakers coming, you know, relatively early, earlier than a lot of people. Mm. I feel like where you're from influenced, you know, your love. Like, was there a shoe there that everybody had? Yeah, the, I mean, the Vans. Every West Mass is infamously known for, like, the punk hardcore scene. So everybody, if you ever went to, like, a show or anything like that, 
there's a sea of vans, you know. Um, I like to wear like the prints. I had this turquoise and black checkered slip on pair, but I think that's basically was popular in my area. Um, there's not really like there, there's like cool people around here, but not like the bigger cities. I just feel like this is Springfield. I don't know if you've ever heard of Springfield, Massachusetts, but it's there's a lot of people from there that you know, have a lot of good style and whatnot, but that's where the basketball hall of fame is. So yeah, but hey, I've definitely heard of it because of that. You know what I mean? So that's it. That is, I know it other than it has nothing, but this area is okay. Um, yeah. So you're one of the cool people then. Okay. Well, okay. I say it, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the face of the mass pike. Nice. 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 Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> with, um, you know, with you being younger, you're still not quite old enough to um, really work a job or, or buy sneakers at the rate that, you know, we all can now. Mm -hmm. um, what brands were you interested in during that time where you would be able to, you know, wear them on the weekend when you'd have to wear your uniform? <laughs> um, well, I played a lot of sports, so um, I think I would have wanted to definitely – wear like the louder shoes, you know, like the ones you couldn't re re really, um, I was always into loud shoes, but that was just because my style was always forced to be plain, you know what I mean? So I kind of was always going for that kind of stuff. Like when the, I couldn't let go of the light up sneakers. I just couldn't. Cause I was like, no, this is like the coolest thing I've ever owned. <laughs> no. I, I get it. But yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I didn't really know like brands or anything like that. And have people talking about brands around me. You know what I mean? I actually found all of that stuff out um, as a teenager when I started working at thrift stores. That's when I started to like learn. I'm like, okay, I've seen that a billion times. That's what that is. You know? So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So as we close the, the first quarter, you know, before we get to the point where you are working and making your own money, um, somebody who you kind of looked up to, whether it was a person you actually knew, related to, or a famous person that kind of um, inspired your early style? Yeah, I was really into, um, I am still am really into Blondie. Um, she was always so cool, to me, no matter what, like no matter what, she was always so cool. So, um, I think that's what I was most inspired by. If I, if I had to pick, you know. Yeah. One of my favorite memories, uh, with Blondie is, <laughs> um, you know, when, when Beavis and Butthead came out, I was like 30 mm. and that was, um, Love Beavis and Butthead. I ever saw the Rapture video before I actually really opened up my palette and got into music for real. So, um, That'll she, always be a memory. She was the first woman to ever rap in a non-rap song. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah. cool. that's her thing. Fun fact. Shout out Deborah Harry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, as we, we jump into quarter two, you know, now this is a little bit more recent sneaker pass. So kind of from when you were able to start really copying yourself up until maybe, you know, maybe – seven, eight years ago, whatnot. Um, so do you remember your first job and what sneakers you first bought yourself? Yeah, I went, that was kind of went in, from like Vans to like Sacconi's. And I went to like the Sacconi outlet and went nuts with like all my paychecks. I know. <laughs> cool. I, I'm i really, I didn't even know how to talk about that. <laughs> I thought I'd maybe bring up my jazz pair, but um, yeah, I was really into them, it, you know. And then um, I really like Rocket Dogs; those were cool for like a second. Mm -hmm. The pastry sneakers were really cool, um, and just more and more Vans, more and more prints and things like that. And kind of that's when I started to get into like the lower um, type shoes that were similar. So I bought um, some Nike Blazers. And um, Air Max ones. That's when I really was like, okay, because <laughs> I wanted an everyday shoe, so I I got a pair of Air Max ones, and it was over from there. 
And shout out to you for knowing what Rocket Dog is. That's kind of old school, but I, I used to sell them at a previous job, but I actually had a few pairs in the in the day. Were nice and raw. And Velcro? Come on. Yeah. Out of here. <laughs> no tie-in, no nothing. Out. Yeah, yeah, I remember those. I remember that being a, a thing briefly. Um, okay, okay. So the Air Max One is kind of where you was like, all right, it's over. It's over. Okay. All right. Now, are you still in high school at this point, or is this beyond that? Yeah, yeah, mostly into high school. Um, I didn't go to college or anything like that, so I kind of just. Um, I, I, like I was working at a thrift store and whatnot. So I started learning about all different brands and like really forming. That's when I really was able to form my style. Like I said, I went to Catholic school. I didn't really have any time to form a style. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started like noticing the stuff I liked, you know, I don't know. I thought it was weird, but not really. You know what I mean? I, everyone around me was wearing pretty much the same stuff. So I'm like, all right. I got to step out and be different. You know, I feel that. Hey, I, I know it's, it's self-serving to say, well, I feel like I could dress, but I feel like I could dress, and it's partly because of thrift stores. You know, I kind of came up in, in thrift stores, and even now, um, my favorite thing to do other than buy sneakers is to thrift and hopefully find cheaper, gently used sneakers there. So, <laughs> you know, One day, um, I'll try to, try to get to the thrift store and just find new things. I do a lot of Poshmark and Depop. Um, I have a pretty big, big market there. So um, hmm. I, I know what people are looking for and things like that. So and I've been selling t shirts online since I was like 17 years old, like when eBay was like first a website. I, yeah. And yeah. Of the same. Yeah. Like, loves cats or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I miss those days. I was talking about them on another live because when I used to sell on eBay back in the 2000s, I mean, you could you could get a whole auction off for like a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So you are really putting in. The fees weren't the same. I mean, mm -hmm. I used to, I would always thrift for myself first, but if I saw me something, I don't get money and it was too small, I'm like, man, let me get this. Yeah, exactly. I didn't, I didn't make like a thing out of it, but it, it is fun. It's, it's a fun little hustle and it's nice when someone, you know, they're looking for that thing, you know, so. Yeah. It was a thing for me for a little while, but again, I was always thrifting for self first, but what used to work for me well was selling sports related oh, items. I bet. Because it was something I knew about. Yeah. Like, you know, so, um, but probably the, the biggest flip I, I think I had was um, one time I was in Columbus you know, because again, I'm from Cleveland. So one time I was in Columbus and I found this Rolling Stones Voodoo Lounge shirt from 1994 mm -hmm. in their tour. And it was really demonic. It had a bunch of skeletons on it. And, you know, it wasn't something that I, I probably would wear. But I got like, yeah. I got like $300 for it because it was, I guess, a rare shirt. So <laughs> a lot of, yeah, a lot of shirts. Um, a lot of band tees, if they're not like a reprint, it's going to be a Target or something. You know, they, they seem to go, too. You got to know your tags. Yeah. yeah. I do that with Nike stuff, too. You know, I can get the Nike tag and tell when it's from. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. And then, like, why is it here? You know? Because yeah. uh, one day I thought I found an off-white T-shirt. Sorely mistaken. Sorely mm. mistaken. I, like, bought it on Impulse because this was, like, two years ago. But I bought it on Impulse and I brought it home and... I was embarrassed. Embarrassed to myself, of course. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, I was at a Plato's Closet a few weeks ago, and I had a, there was an off-white hoodie there, but it was $30, so it clearly wasn't, you know, I mean, it could have been real. Could've I don't been. know enough about that stuff to decipher, because it's supposed to look bootleg and, and deconstructed on purpose, so. I know. I know. That's why I was tricked, too, because the image was like crack and it was like I, I think I think I got it in 2020 and the image said something something 2019 and I was like oh but then when I'm like wait a minute I don't know if it should be this cracked it was just bad yeah I was embarrassed <laughs> I just got rid of it I was like yeah I think that 
Saul. And I mean, people love that stuff so much that I'll never condone buying or, you know, whatever fake no. stuff. I'm good. That's <laughs> a yeah. topic. Um, some people don't care and they'll buy that shit anyway. So, yeah. yeah but I'm, that's a whole other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy sells fakes. So, no, nah, I don't want to be like that. So, okay. Okay. Now, working in a, a thrift store and being into clothes, like, how, how, how did that work? It was basically torture. And then I became the supervisor and I was like, free clothes for everybody. Just got to help me to my car. Mm. I, do, I don't condone stealing, but their management there kind of allowed it and they were taking things too so we had a lot of stuff that <laughs> they would kind of just be like oh my god so I, I was able to get a free-for-all for a lot of clothes and kind of pick different stuff and whatnot but make sure yeah. to back you know so I had a similar job to that it wasn't um with clothes but I used to run a, an independent record store and it was kind of the same thing there it was buy sell trade so if I already had 10 xbox 360s and I needed one, or somebody that was close to me needed one. You know, I'm out so little for it. I'm not really hurting the business, so I feel it. You know, I've still got stuff from that job, and I haven't worked there since 2008. But <laughs> so I feel it that it's like shit. No, I'm store manager. Ain't nobody telling me shit. I'm getting this. Give me this S. Give me this Super Nintendo. Give me, you know, whatever. So, but I feel it. coolest stuff come through and. I met a lot of friends through that job, actually, though, because they were shoppers. So, you know what I mean? Like, they had local shops that they, and they, they were, they would teach me how to, like, re, basically how to resell. Um, <coughs> they're all much older. They were all much older than me then. Um, so, I'm sure they're much older now. They definitely lost their shops because, you know, online stuff took over. Yeah. That, that job I spoke of, um, the last two years I was there, I mean, our main source of uh, making it was um, Amazon. You know, this is when Amazon first started selling uh, Beyond Books, and it became about CDs and then video games. Because mm -hmm. people were still buying new, but we weren't really making money off of the new no. stuff. No. So, no. you know, I feel that. You know, no. like that. What, do you, what is the best thing you feel like you, you got from that? that situation like what's the best thing who pair of kicks sir i found um i got a i have a really cool crossbody gucci bag that i got from there and i got it authenticated by one of my little friends that came in mm -hmm. girl get this so yeah i, I still have the coolest thing um it's probably the coolest thing i took home from from that job i mean so many different band t-shirts and stuff i collected all that stuff at the time but i think the bag was the coolest thing because it wasn't at the time but like i love it more now i'm like thank god i grabbed that <laughs> that would have been a big loss yeah now the next thing i want to ask you you know before we we move on is out of all the stuff that you you've thrifted because you still thrift currently correct yep what's the best thing you've ever found the best thing i've ever found Mine is a shoe. As a shoe? Mine is a shoe. But what, what is the best thing you found? It doesn't have to be a shoe for you. I'm just telling you, when I tell you about mine, mine is a shoe. Okay, okay. The best thing I've ever found is... I mean, that Gucci bag takes the cake for sure. Okay. You know, I found... Um, it's like it was a it was um it was this boxed up Barbie from like nineteen sixty something. Mm. Yep, score. And I I'm gonna tell you right now I know my Barbies, so grab that. I really wanted to keep it, but I don't know. It just felt right. And I was I was younger. I was kind of broke, so. No, I feel it. Oh, that's 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 a good find. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Back. In either 2007 or eight, I went to this um, this thrift store, and I ended up finding an original pair of neutral gray Jordan ones. 
at the bottom of a box of neckties. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through the ties, looking for a cool tie, and I ended up finding one shoe and the other shoe behind the counter. Joints was two dollars, man. I bet you right? someone was hiding that. That sounds like I feel like someone was hiding that. Oh yeah, probably so. I mean, they were because I wasn't even that. Thrown. I'm like, oh, it's the white and gray, you know, but. You know, yeah. ones weren't really a thing back then, so it's just like, you know, whatever, it's an old ass shoe, but I'm, yeah. I'm if I was someone else, I'd probably be like, I can't even believe that, but I've seen so much come through a thrift store. Mm-hmm. Wonder like who the heck like who the heck got rid of this? Like and who would? You know, people people in the back of the thrift stores they used to work in the back, they used to find wads of cash and like robe mm-hmm. with like that didn't come from my house. That would never leave my house. Yeah, yeah. I I found money in pants of uh, jeans. Uh, trying on, like, I found 60 bucks once. This is just mm-hmm. trying shit on. Because nowadays, I'm like, man, most of the jeans, you go to a thrift store, they're going to be boot cut anyway. I'm not going to be able to wear that shit. But, you sure. know, every- <laughs> <laughs> exactly. uh, yeah. So cool, cool. So cool. That's a good one. Yeah, no, nah, I appreciate that. That means a lot coming from you. You know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, okay. So, as you, you know, you get a little older, mm-hmm. you know, people older, some people's styles change, some people stay the same. You know, I know you said that Air Max 1 kind of changed things for you. Mm-hmm. Were there any other shoes back then that kind of come to mind where you, like, that was a point, that was a point, or just kind of. Yeah, because I kind of, it kind of introduced me to the whole like Air Max family. You know what I mean? Like I started buying the 90. um, So it's like, oh, these are like a little, I don't know. They're like a little different. I I feel like I can go to work in them or, um, and then uh, the 95s, which were kind of cool. I feel like I could like do a lot of stuff outside in those and everything, but um. I think the whole, yeah, just the whole, whole like, Air, I'm still to this day, you know, with the Air Maxes. Like, I love anything, and everything Air Max. It's just, that's, like, the silhouette, I think. Uh, if I had to pick one to be buried with, it'd be the Air Max one. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, you can't even see, really. My video got cut off, but, yeah. I mean, hey. my little Air Max wall. I mean, it's a little neater, but I changed some of the shoes out for the video. Cause prop, you know. Yeah, I wanted those uh those matter root those those pink ones. I got the tree line, so I wanted to have those too, but it didn't yeah, happen. probably find them. Um, I mean, they were kind of cheap. I, I got them on resale. I got them under um, retail price. I set my alerts on go. My phone is always going off. Gina, you wear a five. It's different. You're right. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Hey. Oh, little world, you're so no. You're right. Hey. You're right. Grade school, but I will say this. Grade You're school right. resale is a thing. Yeah. Now. Didn't used to be, but no. it's a thing now. So I don't want to offend you or any of my grade school peeps out there. You know what I'm saying? Because I know some of them been here. You know. Yeah. But I, I just, when I look for stuff like um, my co-host of a show that actually is going on tomorrow, a uh, show we do called Reachbacks, uh, QC Kiki Cutie Light. I'll be seeing all kinds of stuff in her size, which is actually your your size too. Um, I'm like, God, I wish I could get this for this price. You know, like I was looking for the blue air bacons and I found a pair that were six wide and they were like twenty four dollars. I'm like, I found it in my size, it was three hundred and fifty dollars. So, you know, I, I just it. Yeah. You're right. Oh, you're right. You're so right. You're so right. I know. And my my size, it's a good size. But Again, I don't want to take away because again, it's, it's quite a resale. Grade school resale is is probably the 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 biggest change into the shoe game since the pandemic started. I know it so, really. It, yeah. Even a, a GS Dunk can go for like freaking two fifty. Yeah, that's 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 weird to me. Just as somebody who <laughs> converse, the Dunk was the silhouette that I had like the most pairs of. So. I mean, I've got maybe two or three, like, new dunks, but most of them are older. Yeah. The f- regular colors are sought after, and a lot of the SBs are just kind of like, eh. You know, before it was the other way around, so it's just kind of weird to be how that's, I, that's... 
I don't know. That's I don't I don't want to say it's the evolution because it's not. It's just to me, it's the time. It's sort of oh. like how. Oh my bad. Go ahead. No, no. I said I think about this all the time because it's like. Yeah, it's it's a wave. It's just like I, I feel like all right. Nike. I feel like Jordans are kind of headed towards a, a cool off period. You know, they were they've, another two years of being hot, so they'll be cool for maybe six months or a year, and then something will happen, and they'll get hot again. Yeah, uh, collab or something. Yeah, you know, um, even even Chucks were hot, but now it looks I, like it's spinning back towards Vans again. I see that. I've never been a Chuck fan. It's not because I don't like them. It's because they just they really hurt my feet no matter what. Like, no matter what. I seen you had that, like, the tall, what is that? I'm sorry, I don't know the name of them. Um, like the taller pair with this. Oh, the uh, the Chuck seventies. Yes, yes. Those, yeah. yes. those kind of catch my eye. Like I feel like those might fit my feet like a little better, but they've always hurt. Yeah. Well, that one is better because they put like a. It's almost like a SB Dunk. Like they put a strobe board insole and in. it feels sort of like Zoom Air. It's a little different, but. It's still a Nike thing, so it's something. Okay. And then, you know, my feet are kind of um, sensitive because I have plantar fasciitis, and I've worked a lot of retail. I've played a lot of sports, so that's that's what I'm saying. I I'm, I have early signs of carpal tunnel, so I, yeah, yeah my, I my hands are the worst, but my feet are. I'm starting to get the similar issues, so yeah. I've. Be careful with yeah the tightness the narrowness and everything like that next i'm gonna have to get a cane not nah, hopefully it'll be a while before that that happens you know what i'm saying now i will say if you do like if you're ever in the journeys and you get a pair of converse from there for whatever reason when they have like their own colorways because nike gives journeys a lot of chuck colorways that they only get they make those with an ortholite insole so they end up a little better too Okay, that changes. Still, yeah, still not quite a Chuck 70, but still good. I would give them a whirl. I've been actually going into stores and trying things on, like other silhouettes mm -hmm. before. Um, so that's been kind of fun. I mean, I do it all the time. I just did it like twice in the past few months. But I was like, let me, you know, let me just check first. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did on some. Yeah, yeah. So... We're about to um, head to the halftime. Now, since I sent you the notes, I've kind of revamped halftime a little bit to where oh, now cool. the guests either or questions. And you can oh, ask cool. them questions. So. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So my next, my, my first either or is um, Air Max 1s or Air Max 90s? 1s. 1s. Okay. Okay. Hartford or Boston? <laughs> Dang. Poop or poop? Um, Boston. Okay. Okay. I remember when I was a teenager, I don't, I don't think they still do it. I remember the Celtics used to play some of the games at the Hartford uh, Civic Center. Um, the, the Boston Garden was like, rent it out for something else or something like that. So I don't think they do that anymore, but I had to ask you, you know, because I've seen you at both places. That's why I'm like, I wonder what she likes. Me, oh, so. yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in the central of both of those locations. So, but I have to say Boston. Boston's just a little prettier, you know, and Massachusetts. Yeah, I can hear the accent a little bit now. <laughs> get me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on if I'm start getting angry and stuff like that. But uh, that probably won't happen. Okay. Are you into sports at all or no? I I follow sports, but I don't, I'm not like into them, into them. I don't really have any teams or anything like that. Um, I grew up in a, a family that loves the Boston Red Sox. Um, obviously, I know. Um, but not really. Not really. No. So, we'll I know. <laughs> That's your favorite. <laughs> well, no, I was gonna say, you know, we'll take the the rest <laughs> out of the equation. So, yeah, if you had the chance, 
of going to see the Celtics or going to see the Patriots, it's nice weather. You know, it's not cold outside. Where are you going? Probably the Celtics. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm a, I'm a Lakers fan, so I'm supposed to hate Boston. But <laughs> I, you know. You I, said, um, yeah. You know, but it's cool. <laughs> so, if you had to wear one mid-forces, mid-Jordan ones, what you wearing? I know Jordan Air Force. I know. You had to really. I've had. I, I ordered the Stussy Air Force One mids, and they were so painful. I had to send them back. So I'd have to say, um, because I had some Jordan mids, I have one pair, um, and they're pretty comfy. I have to go with that. The, the long answer. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So this one, I don't want you to look at me different after I ask you this, but, you know, with you having a smaller foot, some of these shoes actually don't, they actually look kind of neat in you guys' size. But if you had to pick one between a six rings and a dub zero, which one are you picking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I caramba. I guess. The six. six rings. Okay. Yeah. 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 To me, the, the it took me it took me about two years to really warm up to the Spizzyk. I feel like that's still the best mashup shoe that they've they've had. Um, the Sun of Mars isn't bad, um, but. Six rings. And I actually own a pair of six rings. It was one of the first pairs, but I just. I know. You know. That I is know. a. <laughs> hey, I chose. Ah, you did. You did choose. You did choose. So. Um, That's a painful one. <laughs> Somebody wrote that. It's yeah. Funny. Sorry, I'm new to live, so I'm like, ah. No, nah, it's good. It's good. Um, yeah, that's a uh, key. She's my host on Reach Back to Show. I was telling you about we show our thrift finds and our um, cool come ups, you know. Very but cool. We do it every month. So nice. Yeah. Um, all right. So <sighs> what other? So Blondie is up here. Who else is up there with you? Uh, Wu Tang. But as a group, I mean, I don't know if you're asking me about individuals or just music related. Either. Okay. Um, I mean, those are like, those are like the heavy hitters for sure. Um, it's really hard to pick just one because I like all kinds of genres. I'm kind of all over the place as far as that goes. So it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I've been called a music, so I can open a lot of music conversations. That would have to be another live. All right. <laughs> so, okay, this is good then. So, since you like Wu Tang, not a little bit. They're right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what? I need to ask that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just let's just uh, we jump into into quarter quarter three right quick, which is sneaker presence. Presence. This is the most usually the most intense part of the show because people uh -oh. okay. talk about <laughs> you know, L's and talk about how the game is now. And but uh, okay. let me ask you, just as a as a lady that is into sneakers, you collect sneakers, you have a lot of sneakers. Do you feel like there are any added challenges being a female in the sneaker community as opposed to if you weren't like if you were a guy? Do you you know are there any extra challenges you feel like? Hmm. I mean, I'd have to say, as far as like getting the site, like getting the shoe you want and it not being available in your size really sucks. You know, I know a lot of women deal with that. Um, social media wise, I mean, there's a lot that's pretty obvious that can go unsaid, you know, um, a lot are meant, that's why I try to just, I, I started off 
without doing face and things like that. I just wanted to do shoes, but um, that's a challenge. <laughs> so, um, but mostly the sizing, I, I really, it really sucks being like getting really excited for a shoe to drop and then noticing that it starts at like a men's size seven. It's like, great. <laughs> you know? And then they do the women to make us feel, you know, super special. Which is very nice. Thank you. If Nike's watching, thank you. Thank you. But we want everyone to have the same shoe. In the same sizes. Three and a half all the way to, what does it go? 16? Mm -hmm, usually. Uh, one listing. One thing. <laughs> so... What about all those cool GS and women's colorways that y'all get that we don't? Doesn't it even out? But that that wouldn't even have to be the case if they just made the same shoe for everybody. Now they have these exclusives for this, exclusive for that. Actually, it didn't occur to me till like over a year ago where I was like, wait a minute, I'm buying all these grade school exclusives. I'm an adult. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, this, I don't know. You know, gotta, okay. think, gotta think about it. Especially when you're in the mall and someone's like, my kid has those, you know? Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to upset or offend you. But y'all yep. get the best colorways. That Women and kids get the best Air Max colorways. I know. The, the, <laughs> the most recent cobblestones, pretty fire. Pretty fire. I mean, it's so many Air Max 95s, 97s, Air Max Pluses, you know, the tuned airs. There's so many colorways. Where I'm like, man, I will wear that. You know, a certain, it's even LeBron's, Kobe's, Katie's, just for the ladies, you know. Yeah, the guys, right, and they're, you know, they're, they got the goddams. They got them. You know, <laughs> for me, I have a rule like, I'll wear a women's colorway of a shoe. You yep. know, um, I usually sometimes I can fit a women's 12. If it's performance, it's not happening because I yeah. usually wear 11 through 12. Yep. So but if yep. it's like a Jordan one or an Air Force one, a dunk, a lot of yep. times I can it's 12. Yep. But I can't wear a shoe that was just made for y'all. Like, I really like the Air Force one shadows, but I can't wear that because they didn't make it for a man. As silly as that sounds. They fit different. They fit different. I did a comparison recently. They fit different. The cobblestones is actually what made me realize that they, they fit much different. Mm -hmm. I thought I was insane because I ordered the wrong size. I'm like, I put the cobblestones on and they're actually bigger on me. Yeah, but they, all, they match all my other shoe boxes. But I'm like, I'll take that one to the grave. That one is straight up bigger. It, the, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I take it to the grave. They're definitely bigger. So I feel like women's, they just do a little, I don't know what they do differently, but. I feel like they make the shoe slightly narrower, you know. Um, it, I feel it, like for a different size next time. Just to just do like, you know what I mean? Just to see compared to the other Air Maxes I have. Just just to do an experiment. And I have no problem with shoe experiment. That's no problem. Yeah. So that sounds like a good idea for a real. <laughs> yeah, I know. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah. So, <laughs> genius. Um, what was I gonna say? Um. Okay. So, what? Is, what's the hardest L that you've taken on a shoe since the pandemic started? <clears throat> and then we could follow that up with the biggest win, the biggest got. Okay. <clears throat> the biggest L. I don't want to be Travis Scott because, like, that's a, I didn't even know. I shouldn't even brought that up. The biggest L in the past since the pandemic. I just went. I went for a lot. <laughs> I have so many notes, and I don't have that written down. Um, I'm not quite sure. I take a lot of them. Not to brag, but no, nah, I think we all do. We all do. Um, my my best my the biggest win I'd have to say is um, probably the either the concepts. 
I got I got a concepts pair and I was really really excited about that. Um Sorry, I'm like really blanking right now. What about you? Um let me, let me just trying to like toss around in my head for a minute. I mean, I always I've said this uh quite a bit on here but like when the pandemic started, you know, sneakers were still kind of kind of moderate, you know, they may be difficult to get, but, you know, you could get the DMP6, you could mm. get the fives, you could get the court purple ones. Mm. Once the 13 hit, that Flint 13 changed everything. I was able, yeah. I wasn't able to get those. I have every other Flint 13, but the newest one, so. Uh, and I just, I can't pay resale for them. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't think there's any I love enough to go, you know, to go crazy for not double yeah. not double there's some that i've paid maybe 20 30 over whatever uh, yeah. that's not really resale i could just be shipping <laughs> yeah now what's what's your most uh recent pickup my most recent pickup are actually the women exclusive um i actually have them right here you prop you did a video on them so you've seen them already but since I brought them up for props. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are nice. I know. I haven't laced them up yet. Too, they're like new, new. And I took pictures of something different the other day, so I didn't get to lace them yet. But I kind of wanted to actually do a lacing video. Uh, I want to change up some of the way, some of the content that I do. So I wanted to kind of like do the do the lacing with, with those. So I just ruined it. So whoever's watching. <laughs> When they least expected it, you know? For you, yeah. But it'll still be cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good that's a good pickup. I I kind of um wish that they would have made those for men. Um the other thing I should have said earlier, with Jordan ones, I could fit a men, uh, uh not men. I could fit a mid in a women's twelve. The highs don't really work out. Like it's gotta be at least an eleven. So um, for yeah, men's, I it is different. That's my, actually my first pair of highs. I don't have any because I don't really feel like I they are too comfortable. You know what I mean? I have a little bit of a wider foot, so I feel like it kind of takes away from the shoe. You know, so. Mm. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Now in this current era of sneakerdom where is your go-to for getting sneakers or is it just kind of random wherever you can get them well yeah um i mean sne sneakers has always been like one of the main veins but um i recently downloaded soul retriever app and i'm getting like restock alerts after restock alert after restock alert so i kind of like <laughs> I kind of like have that's like doing a lot of the work and I don't even know if that's like cool thing to admit or anything but like I'm I've been using it for like two or three weeks and I've gotten a lot of pairs that I missed out on and they're like restock you know and I hop on the website and check out you have to be quick um yeah. but that, that's the main one goat has always been like a good old faithful for me um I've done really well on goat I can't say that like if I knew like the boxes are in the greatest condition, which kind of sucks <laughs> because, you know, you expect yeah. like, you know, but they're okay. The prices are sometimes worth it. So, yeah. Nah, I mean, we, we use the soul retriever app. It's a, it's a great app. I mean, Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, any, anything you could do to get what you want, like, I know. so they, I they, know. they, they out of notifications, it's a lot of notifications. Uh, <laughs> but, all night. All night. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's um it's a very useful app, and I would recommend anybody. You know, if you you don't uh, have it, it's definitely an app worth having. Soul Retriever, you'll need a dog. Uh, as it's straight yeah. up, and so I've gotten a quite a few pairs just like looking at the alert you click on the alert and it brings you right there and i'm like 
Yeah, can't beat it, you know. Um, because, I mean, I've worked for Hibbit Sports. I've worked for Foot Locker a bunch of different times. I've worked for other um, shoe store companies or whatnot. And, you know, a lot of times their app sucks. Like, to me, Foot Locker's app sucks. Foot Hibbit Locker. doesn't you know if you want. It so, so sucks. I can't even get in. I don't yeah. even know. I can't even get in. I actually made a story one day. I was, like, fuming. And I was, like, off running my mouth. I'm, like, who even gets in? <laughs> like, who are, like, getting in and winning these shoes? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Finish line's the same way, though. Finish line at um, it, they, 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 they all suck. I downloaded them. I thought it'd be easier to get drops. But, and even Soul Retriever sends you the alerts. But I'm, like, you know what? I just don't even, I ignore them. I just ignore them. Yeah. And all water. So, yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, and even, you know, like smaller brands like New Balance and Puma, which you, not really smaller, but they're not Nike and Adidas. They can't always handle the traffic. Um, yeah. So to me, that's even come through. You know, my, my wife has definitely um, used it. You know, she got me hip to it. Thank you. But... Um, yeah. So with the game being the way it is now, and since you've been around to remember how the game was, what's one thing that you actually like now about the shoe game that's better than it was before? Um, I mean, obviously, I, 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 I well, not obviously, the first thing that comes to mind is probably being able to connect with like-minded individuals who are into the same thing. I'm actually a lot of people that I meet are like completely different or they have different personalities or they're into different things, but like we have shoes in common and like, it's just really cool to kind of connect with different people. And that's why it's hard when you asked me earlier, you're like, well, what goes on around there? It's like, I don't see many people with sneakers. I mean, I have friends, but they're not, they're not sneaker heads. They don't care about that sort of stuff. They're into like thrifting and things like that. But sometimes I like to talk to sneakers, you know, so. Sure. Uh, that's the best that's the best thing that's happened. I was very anti um social media probably about like three or four years ago. I was just I don't know. But it, it certainly has changed and it and it's really it's a lot different than I ever thought. So Yeah. I wanna say for me it's it's that, you know, because I mean I was on Nike Talk for a long time in the two thousands and you're able to connect there, but it's it still wasn't as personal and as intimate as you know, social media has made the world now where it's like, I can follow you. I can see what's going on with your, with your life, you know, yeah. what, sneakers stopped, what you like, what you don't, you know, right. hot. Yeah. So. E e even, um, I'm good for like asking opinions, like, Hey, like, what do you think about these laces? You know what I mean? Like, cause I'm just not sure. And I want to ask, you know what I mean? So like, and I have like five laces that came with this pair. So <laughs> green red white you know so sometimes it's nice to ask those questions versus you know i guess anyone else so sure. that's important you know what i mean i um i never realized that until joining like the sneaker community you know yeah, yeah. um so yeah i mean I, I like that i also like just the amount of information you know, like it's so much information where you can find out. We know what's coming out next year already. I know, I know, I know. It's real time news. It's like it's it's unbelievable, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess on the flip, what's something that you miss about how the game was? I guess if I can be honest, kind of being like that unique person that has the fire pair of sneakers versus like wearing your, the most fire pair of sneakers and then showing up and like five people have pandas on and you're like, damn. <laughs> I feel it. The same people that, you know, made fun of me for wearing Vans, but Panda, Panda Nation. I try not to be like a like a sour puss about it. I, I I love the pandas. I use them as collateral at my sneaker shop to do trades. So thank you, panda. 
<laughs> I have like six pairs on deck. Yeah, I never, I never. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm starving up there. Something happened upstairs. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I never remember there being a white and black or black and white dunk back in the day, even when I first started retro and dunks like 99 um, in 2000, but they got something with those. I mean, I, I, um, yeah, not a lucky girl said it, you know, I like, that. you know, the uniform. I could yeah. be at it too. Cause like, I just ran into a girl I went to hair high school with and I was like, girl, bye. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And it there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, people used to think I was strange for having sneakers, you know, a lot of sneakers. And now that it's a thing, it's, it's that, I mean, I, I will say what kind of what you said, I kind of miss that. I kind of miss shoe. I'm, even though I like the information, I miss a yeah. shoe. And well, where you walk in like that, what, what the heck are these? You know? So. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I miss that. Like that really like that crazy like oh crap like that person's in the sneakers you know what I mean but it's cool I get it you know what I mean I guess I'm a little selfish with that thinking <laughs> you can't keep everything to yourself but you know is it a yeah. crazy is it a trend you know what I mean but the people like us is kind of stuck around forever so it's like we're not going anywhere you're just actually making it harder for us to get the things we love <laughs> yeah so yeah, if I ever own some pandas, I'll have a high top pair. Like, uh, you know, just just something different. But I'm always I'm partial to high dunks over low dunks. Um, you know, like, I'm surprised at how much I like them. I actually like the next nature pairs um, slightly better. They're a little more comfortable to me. They're a little more comfortable to me. Um, I really like what Nike did with the next nature. Um, but yeah, I'm, I kind of prefer the the highs over the lows. But it's summer, so I've been really rocking the lows as much as I can, because I mm. kind of not have to be wearing them all year round. I kind of change my style up a little bit, you know. Bring out the summery shoes and the bright shoes now, and but that's kind of my vibe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So as we go into quarter four, which is sneaker future. Sneaker future. What direction would you like to see your collection go in the future? I am actually, I've been heavy into exploring and giving other silhouettes a chance. Threes and fours into my rotation. Um, I did like a little poll one day and I was like, what do you think's like the best silhouette, you know, like that I should choose next? What would look best on me? Once again, I want to, you know, um, it's different from what, how I see myself and, you know, how, how something could be styled. And, um, I tried on the other day, a couple of threes and fours and I really love them. So I definitely want to add some to my rotation. I'm not buying resell unless they're great. I'm watching a couple of them right now on goat. So hopefully they get lowered, but that's kind of my goal. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, What's like on your radar next? My radar next. Um, I wrote them. I wrote that down actually. Let me refer to my own personal notes. Oh, yeah, the Air Max, um, the Humara, Humaras, Humaras, the collab. Super want those. I don't like the brown ones, but I like the I like the beige ones. They're nice and clean. And it's like a classic shoe, so it's it's just something. I know they came out already in the UK, but mm. I wasn't quick with it, so gonna go for them in September. I think that's the that's like the one I'm looking at for the most because it's a new silhouette, and you know, yeah, yeah, it's like a regular Air Hubera, but the side is different, and it's got a bubble, you yeah. know. It's they pull that out every now and then. I remember they did a collab with Supreme a couple of years back and yep. regular ones. So another pair of shoes I couldn't get in my size. Mm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Man. 
um, how does your, you know, family, friends feel about your relationship with sneakers? They're okay with it. They know, I mean, I don't get really much questions. Um, my sister knows I'm a stylish person. Um, my mom knows I'm, I've always told all types of something. <laughs> and um, I've always had a lot of shoes. Shoes is something I've always, always had. So um, just transitioned into sneakers, you know, over the past like decade. So um, like a lot of sneakers, like collection status, but um, they're all good with it. They're all really supportive. They don't think I'm weird. They always compliment me on it, which feels nice. <laughs> Sometimes they ask me questions like, did I paint those? And I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. <Thank> you. <laughs> now, have you ever intimidated a guy with your sneaker collection? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he was also a collector. Mm-hmm. What, what messed him up? What shoe did you pull out where he's like, oh, man, like, what? What did you pull out to, to crack his head? Honestly, I mean, I don't know what's up with the dudes out here, but he at Air Max One, he was like, Air Max One? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, I have the off-white Vulcans. Those were a shocker, too. Those are from 2013. Those are probably the oldest pair I have. I think. Okay. 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 Yeah, I've, I've heard of that, you know, where, you know, y'all could do that. I, I would, you know, like when I, I look at my wife's collection, you know, she has a lot of stuff that I, I wish I had, even though I have more shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's you got know. a... Yeah, she all right. But what? she had a lot of stuff that, <laughs> that I, I like that. I just think if I was um, with the collection she has now, if I was a new dude coming in and I was like, man, what do I think about this with the collection I have? Like, man, she has shattered backboards and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's just so badass. You can't even go near it. I, 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 I'm nervous because I, I realize that just because other people are sneakerheads, it doesn't mean you're compatible. Biggest lesson. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be nice to um, not, you know, not consider that or have that. It'd be really nice to have someone else into sneakers and things like that because, you know. But also not a requirement. <laughs> It'd be nice to have someone else go for things for me, you know? Yeah, well, I have to give, yeah, I feel that. Like, like my wife has, um, she's won a lot of heat for me over the years, a lot. So I'm not a hater, V. <laughs> so, I was going to say, anyway. I... <laughs> Good. I know, right? Mary I know. But have another person go for the shoes, you know. But then I'm afraid they'll like start liking sneakers, and I'm like, it's over. <laughs> yeah, the amount of space I would have in this house if, if it was just me in the yeah. sneakers. You guys, you guys have like a designated room for all your shoes. Do you keep them together? It, am I allowed to ask that? That's cool. Um, so. You can, I know I like a personal question. That's oh, cool. We do share a closet, and on my side of the closet, it's nothing but runners and trainers. Um, but I have another room downstairs that's just basketball and Jordan, cool. Cool. and then the garage is like everything else. So he has a bedroom I and the yeah, yeah. Probably like the neatest portion of my room, so yeah. <laughs> like a little, yeah. a little like sneakerhead boutique in here. That's that's good, you know. I'll be one. I'll be like that one day myself. <laughs> or room for anyone else, <laughs> or anything yeah. else. Like, just in the in the Jordan closet, it's ugly in there right now, man. <laughs> I was really in there today, but. Yeah, it didn't this happen. Spend like two days cleaning everything up, and then mm -hmm. I'll crazy real idea, and I got to pull out like six pairs, and yeah. I up where I am now, and then there's a downstairs. Obviously, where it's like just rows and rows. 
And then if I know, I know where most of them are, sadly, but I, I just go to pull them out and just everything turns a mess like overnight, you know, it's like a tornado. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with that right now. Um, you know, what makes it like, like I participate in sneaker battles. So that also messes up. I'm running, grabbing, shoot, you know, I, it's just, yeah, it's hard. I, I thought of like an easier system for it. And I've actually avoided making certain content because I'm like, you know what? I can't even deal with that Hirashi pile today. <laughs> like, I know what that corner looks like, and I cannot go. I can't even deal. So I'll just do something different. But I hate that. I guess yeah. now that I'm accountable for it, maybe I'll actually do something. Uh, if you're a collector, you kind of sacrifice space. Mm -hmm. I, like, I would love to have them all nicely accessible, but it's not realistic. Yeah. 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 Well, this has been a great episode. I appreciate you. Being here. Yeah, for having now, me. Thank you so much. No problem. No problem. Now, do you have any questions for me? Um, yes, I do. Sorry, I'm reading my questions. Oh, that's fine. How do you get those that those old school clips? You have like the coolest clips. Like you had the black flag clip, and then you have like the uh -huh. mark, like. I mean, I'm not like amazing at technology, so you might say something really easy and I'm, I'm sorry in advance, but I find it really cool and I don't see actually a lot of content with like, old, I want, I'm asking because I want to use old audio. I'm, I have so many different ideas that I can't find that Instagram doesn't supply for you. <laughs> and I noticed you have like really rare things that you post. So I'm just kind of curious if you don't, you don't have to tell me or. Yeah. No problem. So but I'm, when I, I, I like incorporate it in like my, my videos, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Well, I'll be honest with this. Sometimes it's a gamble because there aren't you know like reels and and on TikTok they don't have all the songs. So sometimes I'll just screen record. Oh. You know, over it. You Smart. know, so I do that. But with a lot of the like when I do a song of the day where I'll just post like the album cover and I'll have yeah. a reel That's constantly cool. going. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. A lot of times, because I have title, I'll just screenshot that, crop it, and just post it as a continuous reel. Yep. Yep. So. Cool. No, I, I, I really dig it is what I'm saying. So if it's, oh, as, I appreciate it's if as, you know what I mean? Then that's like all perception, because here I am being like, wow, Jordy has all the footage. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. You know what I mean? Like, that's the internet for you. You can like literally get anything anywhere. Yeah, now that Black Flag, Flag song is one of my favorite songs, of course. So I just kind of walk around saying, nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got <laughs> some saying here in the house. I, oh, also, man. I also collect vinyl, so I thought that was a nice touch. Yeah, old school Henry Rollins when he was young. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> before the acting. Um, yeah. yeah. And you got anything else for me? No, that was it. Thank okay. you. So much. I, no problem. I, I, I appreciate you being here. I'll definitely be in touch. I'll be showing love, and um, well, hopefully we can do this again soon. Me too. Me too. All right. All right. Well, I will see you soon. Thank you, everybody, in the comments for joining. Yes. Um, this is episode ninety-four. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Peace.